everyone would like to have. And of course, it is first of all, it's not for my bliss. It's for the, you know, it's for the service of my Gurudev, of Srimad Radhika, of the Vaishnavas. But at the same time, it goes together because we know the Mandri's mood is your happiness is my happiness. So there's a truth in that. It's not only a, you know, like an empty uh, phrase. No, because by serving and by giving, by loving, by being a loving being, then also I become more loving because more love comes into my heart. Because the devotees are happy, Gurudev is happy, Srimati Radhika is happy, Krishna is happy, all are happy. So this is the secret how this is going into the flow of the heart and it continues. Although such a transcendental energy is the essence of Ladini and some of it aspects of the Lord's inner energy, it appears or she appears, we can say she because we know, within the senses of the devotee who is sur surrendered unto the Lord's lotus feet becomes identical with him and thus becomes active on its own strength. So that is amazing. Let's feel this. Let's feel. It's a long sentence. So this transcendental energy of Ladini or Shimati Radhika's love, it appears within the senses of a devotee. Means transcendental senses are becoming manifest and also our material senses can feel this happiness when the soul is be you know when the soul is becoming alive it is a happiness when the soul becomes conscious radha conscious krishna conscious and that is a very interesting process that it it enters bhakti enters the senses now, of course, we can see the spiritual senses, then we develop our Swarup. But also, if it comes in our human body, if Bhakti is, is coming through and through, also there is something that it becomes active on its own strength. Means once you practice this Bhakti, this loving devotion, it is, you know, like a, it becomes an addiction. It will not stop. And you feel taste. You like to be loving, like to be serving and caring. That's the activity of bhakti on her own strength. When the heart becomes purified through the process of hearing and chanting, loving devotion, which resides in the Lord's eternal associates, will descend to the material world like the current of the nectarian heavily Ganges. Through the drain of the sadhu devotees, the Guru Parampara. So this is also very amazing. That the Guru Parampara, our Gurudev, his Gurudev, their Gurudevs, they are like a channel, the pipeline. We often say pipelines, right? Because that is easy to visualize. They have this Bhakti, they have this devotion, they have this love, they have this service. And when our hearts become more purified, then we can receive it. And then it becomes like, you know, the pipeline, it goes into our pipeline, and we are also becoming a pipeline, so to say. <laughs> and it comes from the eternal associates of the Lord, from Srimati Radhika's Dasis, because they are the biggest pipelines, right? They are the ones that are full of love and full of realizations and uh, full of compassion also. And they will channel this. And we just have to open the heart and, and get this um, energy somehow collected, collected. Be open and collected. So this is a very, a very mystical thing, how this love is coming through the eternal associates. They are bringing this love somewhere. The love has to you know, be shared. 
And then my heart is just being open for that, is eager for that, and connects with their feelings. And then it becomes, you know, it, it's going through all the senses and it develops also my spiritual senses. That is a very good news. It's not so it means we are happy here as, you know, in the body, in the human existence, but at the same time, through the channel of being connected to the Dasis, to my Guru Dasi, Guru Devi, and, you know, all of the mantras that we were talking about last week, then also my Dasi Bhav will grow stronger and bigger and bigger. And, you know, I can also uh, be a channel of this love and give and share it with others. And then the realizations will become deeper and deeper and more relishable. And now um, I, I am so excited, maybe as you can feel, because this is going deeper and deeper and deeper. And I hope that uh, you also you feel some relish by listening it because it is so sweet and it's also very easy. Love of God, Bhakti, is the moon that releases the moon beams of all paramount bliss or happiness, the essence of all good fortune in the world and the very livelihood of Sattva Gun who naturally delights the Supreme Lord, who performs endless pastimes and whose sweetness is matchless due to his complete transcendental bliss. If she enters into the heart in any way, not waiting for any regulation, my God, Gurudev, I know you love this. So love of God, Bhakti, we can also say the mercy of the Dasis is like a moon, a, a big shining full moon. And these beams, the rays that come from the moon, they are full of bliss, full of happiness. And it gives all, it's all the essence of the good fortune in the world. That's why we see also devotees when they are, you know, naturally in their, how do you say, that happiness and in their position where they feel completely uh, satisfied in their services, they also become not only fortunate themselves, but they help others to become fortunate. It's a natural thing. Because once you have you know, some feeling of, of good luck and fortune in your life, you can also share it with others. We see that also with Gurudev when he comes into the life of any soul by any good fortune, that life becomes blessed and it becomes uplifted. And devotees usually are very happy and very uh, um, shining personalities who also inspire others to to get fortunate and to become happy in their lives. Because love is being shared and then it doubles. We have this German saying, die Liebe vergrößert sich, wenn man sie teilt. Love is getting bigger once you share it. Because why? Shimati Radhika is happy and also Krishna is happy. So when they are both happy and Gurudev and the Dasis are happy, that must multiply itself naturally. And she is entering the heart, not waiting for any regulation. That is so nice because she doesn't have any expectations or any, you know, she doesn't make any conditions. She doesn't say you have to be like this and that and that. She says, come, I want to give myself to you. And like this, we become blessed and blissed naturally. So continuation. This bhakti cannot be fragmented by any other object. She does not tolerate any other motivation. She consists of the essence of the Lord's pleasure potency. 
So Bhakti Devi is like an expansion actually of Shrimati Radhika's heart. Bhakti. She consists of the essence of the Lord's pleasure potency. That why we call her Prem. Prema Bhakti Jaha Hoite Avidya Vinashayate. That is what we always sing in our Guru Vandana in this beautiful song, what we hear from Nara Tom Dastakur. It's not that the avidya, this ignorance or my sorrow, my coverings, they go away first. No, when this love comes, then she is like the moonbeams and then she takes away all the dirt, the dust and she shows the way. She is coming inside my heart, my senses, my consciousness and she shows the way and the darkness will go away. It will happen you know, side by side. Oh my God, now something comes that you won't believe. Really, it's so exciting. So, love of God, bhakti, or prema bhakti, she consists of the essence of the Lord's pleasure potency. That means she is prema. She is the essence of Srimati Radhika's heart as Prem. So she comes and her shape is the particular knowledge that consists of the desire to attain the Lord and follows all that is favorable to Him. Her shape. So Srimati Radhika, she is this love of God in the form of Bhakti, you know, Prema Bhakti. She comes into the heart of a devotee by the, you know, how she comes is another story. Of course, by the grace of all her dasis, who also have become like herself, right? They are non different from each other. So here again we have this Achintya Beda Beda Tattva. They are same, but they are also different. So that the essence of the Lord's pleasure potency is shaped with the knowledge. It's her shape is the knowledge of the desire to attain the Lord. So, you know, Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, I give them knowledge how you can come to me. Right? But Srimati Radhika, what is the knowledge she gives? She gives bhav. She gives this desire to go deeper into bhava bhakti, into the feelings of how to love divine, how to be in love with the divine love. How can I increase my love? How can I feel it? How can I shine, you know, like a loving person, which is my original position? How can I be the soul, you know, inside and outside? How can I be the Dasi inside and outside? It is not different from each other. And it comes slowly, 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 but surely until we reach the ultimate goal. So Shri Radhika also gives the knowledge that we need, the information that will transform into realization, right, Kishori? That is connected. And that, what is that information? That information is how to serve and how to feel, you know, more eager to do service. And how can I, you know, how can I manifest that service? How can I apply it in my life? In which you know, form she will come, she will also give me feelings how to serve her and her beloved. So, her body is, now it comes also again, very interesting. Her body is the mental faculty of the loving devotee. Guru, if I was so overwhelmed when I read this, because we were discussing or cherishing, or sharing and, and, and uh, relishing that, uh, you know, she, it's a re mental religion. We are, we are following this Raga Nuga, Rupa Nuga Bhakti uh, in the lines of all the Dasis, of Rupa Goswami, of Rati Manjari, of all of them. And Srimati Radhika, or the mercy of the Dasis, she comes and becomes the mental fac faculty of the loving devotee. So she she can come into the mind. 
she is making it possible that this mind, you know, this ability to, you know, think and desire and to become focused, it will be permeated, it will be completely um, surcharged with that love, with herself. She becomes it. Bhakti Devi is becoming the mental faculty of the loving devotee. And that is the process. My God, Gurudev, I miss you. You are playing this hide and seek. <laughs> the internet Leela is playing this hide and seek. <sighs> that makes us more eager. It makes us more eager and more grateful when there is some meeting. So isn't that inspiring? How do you feel about this? That Bhakti Devi herself becomes the mental platform, so to say. She takes over, you know. That is when Lord Chaitanya is explaining in uh, Shikshastakam, Param Vijayate, Shri Krishna Sankirtanam. Because then the mind is filled and the heart is filled with the names. And the names are not different from the personalities, from Radha Mohan, from Nita Goranga. And our, our mind is vibrating in this energy. And then uh, Srimati Radhika is very attracted because she sees, oh, there's a, a Dasi. I will send her to my Dasi who is there on this planet Earth and let them become channels of love more and more. So, it's, uh, you know, you have to meditate. It's a deep thing, you know. It's like endless how this uh, meditation goes that Srimati Radhika herself, Bhakti Devi herself, the expansion of the expansion of the expansion of her love, of course. But it's also, you know, it's, it's non different from her and her dasis. They come and they become our minds as you know, as much as we let them in, as much as we are opening our consciousness to becoming a channel of this love, also they become it. Her body is the mental faculty of the loving devotee. That's why Gurudev is always stressing to make the mind the friend and not the enemy. Because we, we don't want to live together with the enemy, right? We cannot tolerate it. That's why many people, they get so much crazy with their minds, because the minds, if the mind is an enemy and it's not trained to be in balance and loving and harmonious, then it's hell to live together with a crazy mind. But once we turn to Bhakti, Bhakti Devi herself will become the mind. means the mind will be so peaceful and so focused on service and on the pleasure of, of, you know, all other people, not myself. That's the meaning actually of Namaha or Svaha. It means you and not me. But inclusive in this mentality, which is so full of divine love, is my own happiness and satisfaction. So she makes her, her own body succulent with her own self. Succulent means uh, juicy, which is more juicy than the essence of nectar. So it's, I mean, it's a deep secret. I don't know, Gurdiv, please help me if, if I'm wrong. But I feel that, you know, once Bhakti Devi is coming into our lives, she takes over more and more. And the more she takes over, this bhakti is, is you know, we become bhakti uh, dasis. You know what I mean? We are radha dasis. So we become filled with this desire and she also reciprocates. Gurudev also reciprocates the dasis too. And they are giving as a channel. They give their own bhakti also. That's what Gurudev says when... Uh, he is telling, you know, their moods and their, you know, realizations in a sharing. It's like exchange of feelings. And it's not only in the ears. It goes in the mind and in the heart. And it becomes one flow of love. 
do you know what I try to express? The words are sometimes difficult, but I think all of you who know much better than me and have feelings that have shown you how divine love has come into my life and I feel so attracted. I want more and more to live in this divine love. And I pray to Gurudev and to Radha Mohan and all my brothers and sisters. Let's help and help and help each other to be more in this divine love every day as much as possible. And pray to Srimati Radhika that Bhakti Devi will enter my heart and never leave me. That is my prayer. And that is also what Baba says. She becomes the mental faculty of the loving devotee. That's why when there's a certain dosage of bhakti in the, uh, uh, you know, in our chaya's hearts, they don't want anything else but bhakti. They never think about anything else anymore. It's natural because she has taken over, so to say. Goranga has taken over, Gorangi has taken over, and then I'm only happy when I'm connected with them. And all I try to be a container and I try to, you know, receive the, you know, be in the pipeline, be in that, be active. And also very beautiful now, Baba goes on, he says, the devotee's concealment of her uh, div confidential nature is her moon necklace. You know that once Bhakti Devi enters the heart of a soul, the devotees become very, very humble. And they don't want to share it because they are a little bit shy that maybe it gets lost again. I, I should not because the mouth is like also can you know if it could be also something that you lose when you speak it the bodies become so humble they don't want to speak all these things and Srimati Radhika or Bhakti Devi they like it they like this humility of the devotees and carrying it as a necklace Concealment means something that you keep secret. You keep it within yourself because it's your heart's treasure. And that treasure of the devotee's heart who are keeping her hidingly there, that are her, you know, the pearls in her necklace. And the pearl-like tears of the devotee are the ornaments of her necklaces. When the devotees are crying for Srimati Radhika, for Bhakti Devi, for more Bhakti, for more love and service, then, then these tears, they are like pearls. Srimati Radhika is collecting them. Guru Manjari, they are collecting these tears and they make a very good uh, necklace and Srimati Radhika loves that. So never think that your prayers and your tears are not heard or not felt or not seen. Her nature is to keep all her qualities within herself. The nature of Bhakti Devi. It's a glorification of Bhakti, this verse. But because Bhakti and, and Srimati Radhika, they are non different. It's It's very nice meditation for us because it's the Dasi Bhav to serve the Bhakti and to reveal the Bhakti also uh, to, to not to reveal it but to keep it and to have these revelations in the heart as our treasures. That's why there's a tendency to keep these treasures inside. Like Srimati Radhika also is keeping treasures inside. Even Rupa Goswami kept the treasure inside. But the good thing is that their, their uh, disciples, like Raghuna Das Goswami, he was sharing the treasures of Rupa Goswami. He was sharing the treasures of Ratiman, uh, Rupa Manjari, 
because that was his Guru Vandana in the first, or is, in the first verse of Vilap Kushmanjali. She is expressing how much uh, confidential love they are always exchanging and how, how um, important is that confidentiality also. That's why the poetry of the Goswamis is very deep. And only by mercy, Gurudev will reveal to us in our hearts. Shrimati Radhika will reveal the confidential meaning, the Rasika meaning. Ah, now comes Bhakti Devi. She has turned the treasures of all human goals or pursuits into her maidservants. So that's already something that is so deep. It has many levels. I could not even express it because I feel also so insecure. Actually, I need help to understand this feeling. How Bhakti Devi has turned the treasures of all human pursuits into her maidservants. Shimati Radhika has given all the goals that any soul could ever have into the hands of her maidservants. And she is sending them here to this world. As Gorangi, she is coming and she is sending all her maidservants out to show the people everything you ever wanted is within the service to the divine love. And another idea came to me also that all the treasures of any human pursuits means that anybody as a human would love, like, no, let's say, knowledge, because that was the text's uh, uh, beginning, knowledge or renunciation or, uh, um, how do you say that? Dharma, uh, Atakama, uh, Moksha. These are all these goals that usually the humans have. They want to have some a good life and they want to have also some prosperity and they want to be also good persons and they want in the end, they want to go out of this body as a good person and maybe also, who knows, come back as a more better person or more richer person. You know, this is the cycle of these activities in this human realm. And Shrimati Radhika is actually, these are all her servants. You know what I mean? All the opulences, like a beauty and wealth, and uh, they are her servants. And the good life, it's all because of her and of her grace that we can receive it also here in the human body. Because when we serve a divine love and we become lovers of the divine, then also all these qualities will come as we have seen in our brothers and sisters, in our Gurudev and all the Guru Parampara, they are the shining lights of love. And they are not even interested in these external goals of life. Thus, this goddess of love is constantly engaged in the service of her Lord. She is in the service of Mohan. And what is she doing? She is inviting all other living entities to also serve because her service is always increasing. She is not the a miser. She is not a creepana. She is generous. She is generous with Mohan because she fulfills all of his desires. But also she is generous with all the living entities, inviting them, especially now when she came as a Gorangi or Goranga. So 
So that's the glories of Bhakti Devi, how she is coming into the hearts of all those who are open for that, and how she is making the hearts shining in places of her own self. I find this very exciting. <laughs> that is the oneness. And that's why when we have these relationships with all other devotees, with all other people in our lives, it's all blessed. It all becomes a blessing. Because we can see Srimati Radhika's doing, Guru, da, Guru Devi's doing. We can feel how they are arranging our life. Now I don't have to be controller anymore, thank God. I can just let it flow. I can have a faith that they are doing what they want to do with me. I don't know. Yes. May I share it with my feeling? Please. Thank you. Yeah. Actually, what I feel now is you are speaking means Bhakti Devi herself speaking by using your body. That your would feeling. be perfection, but I am far away from that. <laughs> but you love no, to see no. it. <laughs> No, you give us a lot of hope and shining. Just listening to you are sharing. Then I feel honestly my heart becomes shining. Hmm. Means you, you means not a, like a so called sneaky did, no. You means our Guru Parampara, Anandadas Baba, or Acharyas. In truth, Bhakti to me because Baba's words is also represent Bhakti Devi, right? Just Baba says. Yes, the words, everything. She takes the shape of that. And Bhakti Devi inspire you. You want to read today, share this today, and it's already shining, and this shining come because you are real pipe. <laughs> By your mercy, by your blessings, I will be more and more. But today, I think Gurudev inspired this because sometimes, like you said, uh, uh, just the, to hear the information is one thing and how to, to come into the feelings with the information, it is another thing. That is also mercy. But the glorification of Bhakti Devi, she is always... You know, when, when we glorify Bhakti, Bhakti Devi appears in our lives. And then we can see her everywhere. We can see her in all the devotees. I can see her in my life and I can see that, you know, in everyone else's life. And I become um, inspired by that. Yeah, it's true. And then we can feel it. We can feel her. We can feel Swamini's grace in every moment, in every uh, arrangement. And that is uh, already such a, a beautiful gift. Like Gurudev said, the realizations, when they become deep, then they stay with us. It's nothing that we forget. And even that Bhakti Devi, who is taking, you know, the form of the of the knowledge because she gives the knowledge what we need to do our services. That is also, I feel, something that to contemplate. How Shimati Radhika is coming in form of Bhakti Devi in the heart and how she becomes the mind. She is taking over the mind. It's not that I have to do and think and all these things that I always try. But like, let her in. Let only Bhakti be my goal. Let only Bhakti be my feelings. And let me absorb more and more love. 
by just being open to it and then she takes over and then she becomes victorious because she's always victorious <laughs> yes we need to do this. this morning uh in brinda one and uh, sharing similar uh sharing goes happen with guru dev my god that is it. no 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 it's difficult to europeans of course and uh, that's why i want to share i inspired so what is important of bhakti is to be honest to be honest means not on material way spiritual way means open your heart this is what today happened wow wow you are listening you are lucky because your time zone is better than ours <laughs> Mm. And then I feel uh, connect with you and Guru Dev also. It's really mm. Bhakti Devi did. This be honest and open and just flow come automatically. This be honest is very key. Sometimes it's difficult to understand this uh, uh, accept or something. But be honest. <laughs> If we really honest ourselves, our heart, then all blockage will go. This is the real humbleness. Uttava Prabhu also said this morning. Wow, beautiful. Real humbleness is be honest. It's all connected. Then be honest, be humble. Just to see our heart as it is. As it is, it's uh, we are really who we are. Be so honest. Good. Thank you for sharing. Okay, Thank you. Sorry, sorry. No, good. <laughs> And I want to also uh, quote one more sentence. It was from the other verse, but it was also the same uh, subject, how bhakti comes into my life. And it has something to do with this honesty. And honesty, it doesn't say the word honesty, but like I think last time I remember that... Um, Our Goras, Goranga Sunda said that how uh, we can see that this uh, natural, we were talking about natural bhakti and I was speaking from the level of Sadaka Deha, but he was speaking then on level of uh, Siddha Deha or spiritual senses and he said that honesty or that uh, natural uh, way of bhakti means to make only Shimati Radhika happy as a Dusty in that case, to always feel what is her happiness and what is now required to serve in that moment, in that situation. And then in that uh, feeling, the worship becomes so pure. It's not about myself, about my senses, it's about how to serve their senses. And when their worship is free from personal desires, that is what, you know, that is the is a free of ego. Personal desire is ego. So when the worship or the service becomes free of ego, means from the pure pure soul, Krishna's inner energy, Ladini Shakti, enters within the devotee's heart. And that was the, like to say, the, the story before that, the story about, you know, how she enters and she is so tender and she is so sweet and she enters when the door is open so that is my my service i open the heart i i i i observe my my homework i observe what is selfish uh, desires or selfish acting and what is pure i become you know more conscious and then When when my heart becomes like a open-hearted, how do you say, entrance door for Bhakti Devi, when there is no more this selfishness, this ego, when there is more this, uh, I want to become your instrument of love. What how the devotees of Italy they always sing, ne? Oh Monsignor, uh, please make me the instrument of love. No, I don't know Italian, but I always hear it and I like it. And then. The special condition that is then created gives delight to Sri Krishna and is called Prima. So 
so it's very uh, interesting subject because then that condition or that let's say uh, package is so attractive that Radha and Mohan will more and more give openings for service and for good association and for prema realizations on the spiritual level and for of course developing my own spiritual body and existence and then it inside and out is one so good if that was for today do you have any more blessings for us any comments on that please share something good if. So maybe he's busy. Maybe he cannot come. He's keeping us eager. So thank you all for listening. Then uh, Sundaram, we are getting ready now, no? For the sharing of our Kitan class. Radhe Radhe Suniti, thank you. Thank you thank for you your... Beautiful explanation. I also agree with Kishori Didi. What, what she tells about your explanation. Honesty. Yeah. You enlighten our art. Thank you Just all for, for yeah, your, your agree, sharing. What, 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 Kishori? Uh, uh, sorry, yeah, just, yeah, just, uh, I want to reply Sundaram Prabhu, sorry, yeah, just Jai Guru Dev. Jai Guru Dev. Bhakti Devi always dancing 24-7 in any moment. If we see her, if we ignore her, we cannot see, but if we recognize her, she's always stay with us. I we, pray, we pray that Bhakti Devi will always stay with me. I always open my mind, my heart, and my senses all for becoming a servant of Bhakti Devi. Jai Jai Sri Radhi! Jai Sri Radhi. <laughs>